began to get messages that uh, one of my colleagues from the Free Southern Theater days, uh, actually one of the f two founders of the theater, uh, uh, his name was Gilbert Moses, uh, was trying to contact me because he was about to uh, uh, begin work on his, his, his um, film de directorial debut, you know, in Hollywood. Uh, Universal Studios had offered him this film. It was at the tail end of the genre of films that became, later began, uh, came to be known as the black exploitation film era of you know Superfly and the Mac and Shaft and all of those movies that were you know like the old uh, kind of like the old uh, Hollywood gangster movies of the 30s with Jim Ca Jimmy Cagney and, and Edward G. Robinson only with black actors now and uh, you know they were done on a very uh, kind of simplistic level, but they 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 made money. You know, they they did well for for um, uh, for a lot of the, the studios that were really struggling at that time. You know, but by seventy late seventy two seventy three, they were kind of waning. You know, they were kind of uh, being replaced by. There was a whole new wave of of filmmakers that was coming along. You know. Spielberg and Scorsese and those guys, and they were really revolutionizing, uh, revolutionizing Hollywood. So, uh, Willie Dynamite, which is the name of the movie that I went on to star in, for my friend Gilbert Moses, uh, for Universal, and actually was was produced by a team which went on to become really successful, uh, Zanuck and Brown, uh, who uh, produ has produced uh, big blockbusters since then. But as a matter of fact, at the time we were filming Willie Dynamite. You know this little, you know, black gangster movie. Uh, Zanuck and Brown were also filming uh, *The Sting* with Redford and Newman. You know, so that's that's where all the money went, obviously. Uh, but it was fun, you know, uh, bumping into them during filming uh, on the on the on the lot, uh, Universal lot. Well, Willie Dynamite was um, a New York pimp who whose dream was to be number one, the number one pimp in New York. Uh, and uh, by the sheer force of his will, he was going to just outdo all the others, you know. But unfortunately, he had many enemies. <laughs> uh, among them, you know, all the other pimps in New York <laughs> who hated him. Um, the police, obviously especially one who was a Muslim cop, black Muslim cop, played by Al Albert Hall, a really good actor. And uh, a, a social worker who was a reformed prostitute herself and, who had, and whose mission in life was to bring down people like Willie. And she was played by uh, Diana Sands, who was a really wonderful actress. And uh, Willie Dynamite turned out to be her last film. She uh, became ill during the, the filming and, uh, and died shortly thereafter. But Willie Dynamite actually turned out to be, um, compared to a lot of the other films of that genre, not, not a bad film, actually. It had really good actors, and the script was not bad. Um, and of course, it was produced you know, by Zanuck and Brown, who were pretty, pretty good filmmakers. Well, <laughs> Gordon hadn't come along by that at, at that point, at least not, not in my life. I had never even seen Sesame Street. Uh, I didn't have any kids and had, uh, I knew that Matt, because of whom I had known by then, was doing this kid's show, but I didn't know what it was. You know, I didn't, hadn't really seen it. Um, so after uh, Willie Dynamite came out, I thought, well, maybe that, this might lead to other kinds of roles, you know, in Hollywood. Which turned out not to be the case. Uh, it's Hollywood's had yet to open its its doors, uh, you know, in the way that it uh, it did to some extent in the 80s and 90s. You know, with people like Denzel Washington and Morgan Freeman and those kinds of kinds of uh, careers. Uh, uh, so um, after realizing that wasn't going to happen, I came back to New York and I began to do theater again. And one of the people, I just mentioned his name, who I worked with quite a bit in those days was Morgan Freeman. Morgan and I did about five or six plays together. And, and we were just, as a matter of fact, Morgan by then had already 
been uh, contracted uh, on a show called The Electric Company, which was like the sister production of Sesame Street. And it lasted for about five seasons. And I remember the day that uh, they canceled the Electric Company and Morgan was devastated, you know, because it was like, you know, what's he gonna do now, you know? <laughs> his, his TV career was over, you know, all he had now were these off-Broadway plays that we were doing. Uh, of course, within, well, t it took another several years before, you know, Driving Miss Daisy and all that happened to him, which is really wonderful.